Welcome back to the channel, guys. We got Shredder. What in the world? Why, why is it not coming off? Huh? Why is it not coming off? Because you still have it chained. It's, it's not chained, though. What's not chained? This looks like a chain, my boy. Well, if I hold the brake, the front wheel won't. Just, just, just stab it, bro. Stab it. Go burn out. Yeah, yeah, stab it. Floor. Not, not working. Not, not, not happening. Oh my God, you just made a mess. I guess we're pushing it off then. BRB. Oh my fuck. Stumpy, what are we doing today? Uh, changing oil and an axle. And then what are we, what are we gonna be doing after that? Track day. All right, so. Redeem, redemption. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck my man did to his engine bay, So, but it looks like the Yeti came all over it. Drove if you 30. can look, you know, it's got all this shit on it. It did not leave like this. I drove 30 minutes and the radiator cap was sitting right here the whole time because I was responsible, but not responsible at the same time. I'm talking about. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, well, the motor seemed like 250. That was temperature on the gauge. I don't know about that block though. That shit probably saw like 300. Can you have a ahead gasket? I made sure. I mean, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna find out today. I drove it all the way home. It was on 190. All right. Yeah. So we're going to Darlington today. Um, same place we took Kodak in the short video that y'all are gonna see. Um, we may or may not break an axle. Uh, we are open diff, one. Two, the track's probably gonna be radio prep yet again. We got 36s. And uh, I mean, we got 36s, but you know, that we're gonna have to leave high with, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try a bunch of little launch strategies. Well, the diff. No. <laughs> but my man's gotta change his oil. He's gotta change an axle because he says it's whining because of the axle, but I think it's because of the wheel bearing because we changed the trans, it still whines. Well, it's either that or the $500 twin disc that we got in here. Uh, shout out to Adler Speed. Clutch is doing fantastic. If y'all ever want a $500 twin disc, that you know that works. What you gotta do. Oh, uh, and you gotta shave the bell housing like the Gen 1 uh, comp twin discs. And yeah, I got a picture and a video. And uh, yeah, so his setup is a uh, Jack Spania 60, well, excuse me, Jack Spania 3584. Yeah. 3584, which is comparable to a VS Racing 6762. Same warehouse. From, we find out is that the turbos come from the same warehouse. Uh, so. But this is a journal. Journal, yeah, journal this one's bill. a journal bearing. Journal so he's got a 1320 top mount. Uh, poverty built. Yeah, what happened to the my words, bro? I gotta rewrite this now. Man, got, I, I haven't washed the car, so I mean. poverty built. Got, well, the coolant probably rubbed it off. <laughs> it's got a poverty built uh, skunk two knockoff intake manifold. EP3 trans now. EP3 trans. Adler speed twin disc. eBay mounts. eBay mounts. I mean, this, eBay this, and the cooler. So this is all like stuff you can order yourself. Yeah, it's all stuff you can order yourself, or you can have me build it. Via, and well, he can build it. it's a file blow off valve. Is it a file uh, now? Yeah, it's a file. Oh, it's starting to roll off. File, yeah. And a bunch of heat management back here. K-Pro, Hunter Tune 1500s. And... Logic EFI. Yeah, we don't know. Some $20 four bar map sensor. Because tell them about the Hunter R one I bought. Oh yeah, the uh, Skunk 2 one that we had failed. I pretty much had like two or three of them no, fail the already. Factory. Oh, Speed Factory. I'm sorry, Speed Factory. No shot against Speed Factory. No, no shot. Yeah. But, you know, shit didn't work. And it's got a QD, uh TPS on here, ones that people say blow the caps off and then don't work. But I mean, apparently it's working. And my man's got to change the starter because his 300,000 mile starter. Yeah, I gotta get to work. Yeah. <laughs> so get to work. All right, guys, we're out here at the track now. We at Darlington, front wheel drive wheel hop city, and we got shredder all figured out. Change the axle, oil, transmission fluid. We got everything that we should need to go fast. What the hell is all over these tires, bro? Shady side. Good burnout. Jesus Christ. Can we at least clean the mud off the fucking slick? 
So the V8 motherfuckers don't think we're a bunch of clowns coming in. Fast clowns. Yeah, we hope to go fast. But anyway. Shit the box changed. I'm gonna try to do some things in the tune to uh, try to mitigate wheel hop. And then uh, hopefully I can get it figured out. So stay tuned, we're gonna put some cameras in the cars. I'm gonna be filming from outside, hopefully. Hopefully somebody can come later get some mid-track footage. But stay tuned. Wish us luck. And some of my man can go 1050s. And he's gonna leave the car here and we're gonna fuck some people up in the street from a dig. And we're gonna get that on video too. Been here about an hour or so, you know, getting a little cool outside. What we got going on, Phil? What we got going on, big guy? We broke the axle, so we changed it. <laughs> that, damn. Hey, Phil. That was brand new, man. What you got going on there, bud? You got, you got some oil about to leak in your, your uh, area. I guess it blends in. That's crazy. All right, guys. So we tried to put an axle in the car earlier, and it ended up being... Uh, K20 Z3 axle, so a 08, uh, well, 06, uh, 11 SI axle, and it was too long, so it started binding up. So we put an RSA uh, Type S axle in there, and we're about to make a hit right now, our first hit of the night. If you power shift it, it probably could yeah, be a, a, right a real low 60. <laughs> off the dolly. Well, let's I go. told you, the shift box was in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you it was all the damn shift box. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> on low boost. <laughs> on low, low boost. Hey, that's only 17 pounds <laughs> on low board. boost. I was running that motherfucker. I was running that dude up in the whole time. Did you see me chugging him? Yeah. No, I was chugging him. 13 pounds. 13 pounds with a 10.7? Is that 420? <laughs> what was that, like 420 horsepower? Carol Bass, tell me where to go. You broke an axle. Oh, I know. I'm saying where to go. Where to go? Huh? Where to steer? Huh? Where to steer? Fuck you said right. Where to? No. How are you doing? <laughs> you had that bit of wood, didn't you? The clutch. Yeah, it is. Ain't no way you preloaded. The e-brake was pulled when you wanted to go, when you wanted to go push it, the e-brake was still pulled up. Watch the video, you'll see. <laughs> you fucking did this shit, didn't you? What? You did this shit. Don't no. I'm out of I'm out of What did you do? That ying! <laughs> We smell the clutch is gripping and the trans is spinning, but the axles ain't working. <laughs> <sighs> all I wanted to do hey, was this. You know what's funny though? If you would have told me from the get go about all this, about buying the right axle over here, Mr. Darrell Asshole, C3 axle, you would have a brand new one over there. Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> my man dumped the clutch like a fucking jackass and broke an axle. So that pretty much cut our night short because I don't have any more Type S axles at the shop and none of the parts stores locally carry any you know, of you have to order one. So it looks like I'm going to be ordering an axle tomorrow and putting it in the car. What time? Hey, what time is it? Huh? What time is it? Oh, yeah, never mind. By the time I get back, it's going to be 9.30, yeah. I mean, we got an axle. No, it's a 3.9. Never mind. Damn. <sighs> All right. <laughs> it's a hard day.
We tried. I tried. Now you did your job. I did my job. Oh, by the way, the car didn't go 1070 on thir on uh, 17 pounds. It went 10 thir 1070 on 13 pounds. So. I got a video for that. Yeah, we got a video of the data log showing that too. So the boost controller was doing weird shit. So, um. I can't come back on Wednesday because they're going to have radio prep. Sunday is going to rain. Tomorrow there's a 40% chance of rain, but they're not doing anything here because there's a gay ass bracket race. So I don't know next time they're going to have slick prep. I've been talking to the track manager and to better aid some of the front wheel drive got ah, front wheel drive cars around here. They're going to start doing uh slick prep on fridays so you can come out here on wednesday with your radial car and then come out here on fridays with your slick car and uh that lights terrible you can come out here with your slick car and do front wheel drive shit and hopefully not break an axle so next time we're just going to bring more axles out here and uh we gotta teach my man how to slip a clutch on the preload because Apparently he gets antsy and a pantsy and we end up cutting night short because somebody doesn't know how to slip a clutch. I did the first pass, I did the second. Right. So my question to you is one job. Is it, is you it, have one job, you bro. Think, you think it's gonna be faster than the blue one? Do I think it'll be faster than the blue one? It's gonna be pretty close. It'll be pretty close. What will determine if it's gonna be faster than the blue one is when I put it on 21 pounds. If it goes faster, put it on 20, than, say like blue car. No, if I put on 21 and it goes fast, it goes faster than 1040. Then yes, it'll be faster than the blue car. And I'll plug a video in the video about the blue car because I never made a video on that. I should have made a video on it. It was pretty much identical it to this, lift. but it was uh, it was a uh, sidewinder car, same motor, same trans, but we had an LSD in that one. Yeah, this yeah. one's open diff, yeah. doing open diff things. That's not um, a good track. But it locks, hey, twin tire fire, my boy. Really? Yeah. But as always, comment, like, share, subscribe. I'm, the car's gonna be staying down here with me, obviously, because it's broken. So I'm gonna fix it, do some street shit. I'm gonna call some people out on the street with it. <laughs> See if I can line some stuff up next week. Small pot racing. Hey. Make sure you don't do it on those tires, that's all I gotta say, because you're gonna hunt. What, the slicks? I, nah, no, if I go dig racing on the street, I'm, I'm going on the slicks. You're going on the slicks? Yeah, what the hell I look like? I have some, I like boo boo the fool. Dig, dig don't nobody dig roll race around here. This is Dig County, my boy. We got a road that's set up better than a track. Oh, like the roll race. Yeah, roll racing because nobody down there likes to dig race. You go up at a Honda with a slick, they ain't racing. Yeah. This is gonna be like some track hawk. Hell, catching track hawk. They good off any scene. I run a track hawk from a ding. I run a stock track hawk from a ding. I don't want to touch it. My hands are clean. Wow. Yeah. Since you cut the night short, you gotta pack all this shit up. I'll pack it up, but you have a question. Nah, I'm gonna help you. I'm an asshole, but I'm not that much of an asshole. <laughs> all right, guys. As always, comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.